here's my two capes. What are cape parrots like? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond, and in this video we've got Macy, who's sporting a beautiful salmon hat, and that's because she's female. And we've got Quantum, who lost his hat because he's male, and when males uh, get to be somewhere between six months to 12 months, they lose that coloring and the species becomes sexually dimorphic, which means that just by seeing that Macy <laughs> is leaving the video, um, just by seeing that Macy has that hat, you could see that she is female. What are my two cape parrots like? Someone asked, uh, they're thinking about getting a cape and they kind of wanted to see both of them at the same time and see what they're like. They are phenomenal. My husband and I are convinced that Cape parrots and golden conures are some of the best parrots. Hi, sweetie. These incredible hook beaks are not overgrown. Eh, maybe a little bit at this point, but Cape parrots just have big old fishing hook beaks. That's, I don't know that they're fishing hook beaks. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a big hook for fishing. Um, but not that they really live around water. Um, but that is actually pretty normal and natural to them, a pretty significant beak. And they are both extremely mellow. You can see that their noise level is not typical of a parrot. Most parrots are like squawk, squawk. <laughs> and the capes are pretty darn mellow. They're pretty quiet and pretty, pretty easy going. I don't think I've ever heard them squawk with squawk. Um, they do make some sounds, but it's nothing squawky. Their personalities are similar in the sense that they both are just so easygoing, they don't cause problems with other parrots. They both enjoy a open door cage policy at my house because they don't cause any problems. They don't fly into windows, they don't go and bite other parrots or you know anything like that. So they're fine, they're happy, they're healthy, they're safe, and they don't make anyone else you know, unhappy, unhealthy, unsafe, so they're fine. Um, but if someone comes and sort of messes with them, they are like, I don't think so. With these beaks and beak size matters in the parrot world, very few other parrots are silly enough to mess with these two. But these two, they kind of stand their ground and sort of are like, yeah, I don't think so. And everybody else eventually goes away without any biting, any blood, any problems at all. These guys are just fantastic. Now Macy is very much a one person bird. She likes me. She always wants me to pet her. She wants to be with me. If I spent all day long just hanging out with her and petting her, she would be happy, happy, happy. Quantum on the other hand, and it may be because he's young, it could change. He is so fantastic at being hanging out with my husband, at being with me. He flies onto my husband. He loves my husband. Um, but he'll let people hold him. He's pretty fantastic. You heard his noise level just now, actually. And it can be a little higher or louder, but not much. So um, they're just, you know, I could go on and on about how easy going they are. They love playing. Um, they're really good at wood. Wood toys are fantastic for them. I am usually not an advocate of plastic toys because I have no way of guaranteeing that a parrot won't bite and swallow a plastic piece causing problems in the digestive system. And it could cause a blockage just like the truth is those um, rope. I love the rope swirlies that they like to sit on, you know, the, that hang and it's like a curl. All of my parrots love those, all of them. But the rope, you have to keep your eye on it because they bite at it, they love biting at it. It's great for their feet because it's easy on their feet, just like wood would be. But they can ingest that rope and get a blockage in their intestine that either means you you know, could wind up with a very sick parrot or worse still. So um, I'm not a fan of the plastic toys, but we found a a plastic toy we were, well we found it we were given a plastic toy and they love it these beaks are so good at destroying it 
And, you know, when you have a toy, I'm not just going to throw it out. But I am keeping my eye on it to make sure that it's nice and safe for them. They are both nut eaters, of course, and they both love nuts. They love pistachios. Pistachios seem very popular with my flock. What else about you guys? I have trained them to, well, Macy came to me eating fresh veggies, and I think Quantum did too, but I, I can tell I've increased the fresh veggies, and they do. They eat them. They're pretty good eaters. They don't like cats. They both don't like cats, but Quantum is less tolerant of my cat. Hello. But did you see how he responded? Standing his ground, not freaking out, not getting scared, not flying off, very mellow. It, that is not standard for parrots. Most parrots are going to squawk and really fly off, um, freak out, and these guys are not. So you can kind of see their temperaments actually are very similar. Like I said, I think one of the biggest differences is the fact that she's a one-person parrot, and so far he isn't. If you want to try to keep your parrot friendly and not being a one-person parrot so that people can come over and you don't have to worry about your parrot attacking them <laughs> or doing something like that or you know just getting really upset because you're around somebody else then you always want to make sure that several people are handling your parrot um, you know maybe everyone in your family so I hope that helps um, they're, they're fantastic if you can get yourself a Cape parrot and you're in the market for a new parrot great parrots to add to your flock I don't feel like they bond with a lot of other parrots, although Quantum has bonded with Binks. Um, and of course, Macy's already chosen me, so she's not gonna bond with anyone else either. But in other words, I don't see them as huge social parrots that are off like with all the other parrots singing and dancing. It's not like that. I wouldn't say that they're complete loners, but you know, they just kinda hang out in their area, do their thing, eat their nuts, play with their toys and don't want anyone to come and mess with them. And when we're with them, they're happy and wonderful and so blissful. Thank you for joining these guys and I in this video. If you have any questions about parrots or if there's anything that you'd like for us to talk about in a video, please be sure to comment below or join our Facebook group, Parrot Bliss Flock. And please post pictures there. Someone posted a video of their parrot, their um, green chicken you're taking a bath. Yes, I love it. Post pictures, I have a flock, but I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough videos and pictures of parrots. Thanks for joining us, we'll catch you next time.